expectancy with anticipation. We wait. We watch with an ever-growing intensity. Could it be? Please, no, anyone but us. Staring, feeling, the anxiety grows around. We know the fear takes hold. Get busy now with your hammers and wood. We run to the grocery to buy water and canned food, fighting in line, flashlights, batteries, all just trying to prepare our families. We try to be strong, try to protect, to shelter from this approaching thing, threatening to sweep all your belongings away. Today is the day, mandatory and being forced out of our homes, and now we flee, leaving our lives to the mercy of the winds. We travel on. As the forest gets closer, we inch further away. We cry, we think, do we bring everything? But a car can only hold so much. We escape just in time. Amongst others, we are all separate, but we travel as one, biting our nails, biting our tongues, unleashing our emotions. The air is thick with worry. We sit and view from afar with our families and our few belongings in our car. When the force is done and has wreaked its havoc, we return with apprehension, enough worry to walk on. We only hope that we have anything left. Driving in, destruction abounds, looking like some foreign land, some desolate place that was bombed and then forgotten. We approach the life we left behind and we wonder why we return each and every time. Looking around, we can see the pain that awaits our neighbors. And selfishly, we hope that we have more than that to look forward to. Our neighborhood looking like it was chewed up and spit out by some ferocious beast. Wondering if we've saved enough pot of meat to make it through the long nights ahead, we approach where our dwelling was with heavy dread. The place which held our lives, our times, our memories in the making was left at the mercy for the earth to be taken. And taken it was. And now what to do? And now where to go? And do we rebuild or just go? And the feeling so heavy within all our hearts to see all our lives just so torn apart. And we grieve and we see our children cry, all of their toys, their schools, and their bikes. Nothing is left besides what's in the car. We wonder just what we work so hard for. Our future uncertain, our lives torn apart, left at the mercy of Mother Nature's vein. We decide to rebuild and await the next hurricane. Insane? Maybe so. But unless you've lived here, there's no way you'll ever know how it feels to watch your empire grow, then go.